I'm here on the Serity stand at EMO 2023 to find out what they have on show. So first off, can you tell me about the RC2? Yeah, hi Tom, thanks for coming over. It's a pleasure to have you here. So RC2 is like, you know, our, let's say, newest solution for the topic of automation to help our customers to um, uh, do their job. Huh? So maybe the most important buzzwords that we see over here is like, um, uh, we're having um, uh, this solution for job shops. That means uh, we're talking about small batch sizes and finished product that can be automated with that solution of the RC2. The very important thing over here is that we talk with a solution for six sites that we're talking not only about five sites of the machining. So that means we can take the workpiece, huh? the robot is gonna change it from one side um, uh, to the other side that we can do also the final application on the workpiece. So you can essentially automate your entire machine shop just using this one robot? That's it. Yeah? And this is really specialized for smaller batch sizes, our let's say mid-sized customers. And it's um, a pretty clever solution that is in combination with our partners for also workpiece clamping and clamping in general. And that means out of that RC2 solution, you can have really, uh, let's say a turnkey solution for automation for smaller companies with small batch sizes. Now, this isn't the only uh, brand new product you've got here at Emo. You've actually brought out a brand new face mold as well, which is slightly different to anything that I've seen before. So can you talk me a bit through that? Well, I'm not the dead deepest technician guy, but I will try to do my very best. Huh? So the Maximal 211 DC means with direct cooling. It's not a brand new total product in face milling, but it's, let's say, the invention and the revolution of an existing one. Huh? I've uh, brought it with me. You see over here, maybe you can see it in the camera that with the direct cooling is, let's say, the invention that we have changed. As this tool body is um, additive manufactured, it means 3D printed. We do have here inner cooling channels that are redirected, that the cooling liquid gets directly on the cutting edge. Before it was on the insert, let's say, to cool it down. And now we have um, uh, directly at the cutting edge, the cooling. And this is um, uh, helping us, you know, with the chips. Uh, and we use it especially for uh, milling of titanium or inconel uh, topics. So the harder materials, which when have heat in them, become even harder. So obviously the cutting edge is the fine point because that's where the heat is being transferred. So obviously the new cooling of the cutting edge is keeping that heat away, keeping the material from hardening itself, yep. making it harder for you to machine. Absolutely. And also, you know, in these cases, by machining um, uh, these materials, you have um, often out of the heat problem that the chips or the material tries to stick um, uh, to the cutting edge. Uh, and with the new cooling that is directly going on the cutting edge with high pressure, we help um, uh, the system and uh, the machining in that case to make it better, more and also, easier. And also that's gonna get rid of all the chips. There's gonna be no swarf. So you're gonna get better performance, longer tool life. Yep, absolutely. Now, one last question before we finish, because there is something on everyone's mind at, e at Emo, especially this year, and that's sustainability. So how are you guys at Serret, is it helping your customers who are thinking about sustainability? Well, as maybe some of our customers hopefully know in the market in total is that uh, we have spent a lot of time with the topic of um, uh, sustainability. Uh, so we are on a journey for many years and um, uh, we, we have seen ourselves really um, uh, that there is no alternative uh, also for our industry to go with the topic of sustainability. And it would take you know, hours uh, to describe what we have really done. Uh, so that means our whole group, all these very clever inventory guy, uh, in, inventive guys that we have, but the most important thing that we are showing in the newest or latest topic here at Emo is, um, I have brought it with you, is the product carbon footprint. So Serret is it, um, uh, as a um, uh, company of um, our industry is, has invented uh, a model or a formula to calculate the product carbon footprint of our products. And this is helping our customers, you know, whenever they talk about what carbon footprint they have while machining or producing their parts, one of the topics is the upstream in scope three, like um, you know all the things that they are buying. Uh, how does that influence uh, their products um, uh, to be um, uh, manufactured? And with this formula and this topic, I think it's a very revolutionary, and we are one of a kind so far in the market. And we hope with that standard, uh, or to build up a standard, uh, because today it's our own standard, and uh, everybody is invited to um, uh, follow that um, wherever possible. And of course, it's already helping our customers because we see here um, uh, on the classification that we have also invented, there are classes from A to F. 
So most countries across Europe, you ha maybe you recognize it from your fridge and things like that. Whenever it's um, coming about the electricity um, uh, um, uh, classification, and here you see zero to five kilo and um, five to ten. So with that classification, you can immediately have like a rough initial calculation on using this product, what does that mean to my manufacturing process? And there are much more details behind. And you can find them um, uh, on our website. Um, there is a, a special channel of sustainability and also for carbon product carbon footprint now as uh, the latest invention, much more information. And as I said to you um, uh, up front, it would really take, um, uh, not because of the complexity, but because the topic is so big uh, that it would take hours to talk about it. So everybody is really invited to visit our colleagues to ask them to come over to talk about the topic. Well, Zohan, thank you very much for allowing us on your stand today. It's been great hearing about the new technologies, the new innovations, but also how you have sustainability at the front of your mind, same as everyone else. So again, thank you. And I can't wait to see where this journey takes you. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tom. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good fair.